Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. This episode of CD Junkie is part one of a two-part series focusing on singer-songwriter Jackie Levin. On this episode of CD Junkie, we're going to talk about his band, Doll by Doll. Now, I always like to start these episodes off by telling you how I got into the band, and that's basically just record shopping. It was maybe, maybe mid-1979, I'm flipping through, and I see this album called Remember by a group called Doll by Doll. Did not know anything about it whatsoever. Uh, and at that point, it was an import only to my knowledge. And I just couldn't afford it. And I, you know, at that point, I didn't really want to fork over the money. It's doll by doll. Uh, uh, and, and I really didn't know what to think. But I didn't see it that often in the bins. So I kind of forgot about it. And then sometime in early 1980, I'm up in L.A. flipping through the used bins. And I come across this album called Gypsy Blood by Doll by Doll. It was the second album. And that one was reasonably priced. I think it was actually used by that time. And it just looked interesting to me. So I forked over my money, took it home, and I was blown away by what I heard. Uh, you know, there's this time period in music where, you know, and, and this is mostly between like 1978 and 1980, where these bands would come out. And I'm not comparing these bands. None of these bands sound the same. But let's say Doll by Doll, Flash in the Pan, Sniff in the Tears, Interview, even the first album by Dire Straits. You, you couldn't pigeonhole them in any category. They sounded completely different than anything that was going on around. You couldn't say it's New Wave or Power Pop or Synth Pop or Prog. It was something entirely different. The energy came from the punk and new wave, but the music was completely different than anything that was around at that time. And I was just blown away by this record. It was just straight rock and roll, but a very different kind of rock and roll. Now let's talk about the small but enormously satisfying uh, catalog uh, from Doll by Doll. We're going to start off with that first album that I saw. came out in early 1979. It's called Remember. This is an album that's completely unique and different. Uh, the band was Jackie Levin on guitar and lead vocals, Joe Shaw on guitar and vocals, David McIntosh on drums and vocals, and then a bass player by the name of Robin Sprifico. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And the album is intense. Uh, the stuff that I was reading about them in the press, which was very, very little, you know, I would try to pick up an issue of Enemy or Sounds or something because it's a UK based band. You know, I, there, I wasn't reading any press here or any reviews. But this album is unlike anything that was out there. It's very much fueled by the same energy that fueled New Wave and, and, and punk and post punk. But it's also completely and utterly different different. Uh, the interplay of guitars between Joe Shaw and Jackie Levin, uh, it, it was powerful. It was intense. It wasn't exactly pop, but there were some great hooks on the album. Some of the songs are very sprawling and they take a while for them to sink in. Remember is a very unique yet challenging, but it's also, uh, you know, soul affirming. People were still creating, uh, you know, rock that was art. Uh, and it, it's pretty amazing. Now, this CD that came out, uh, it features a B-side called The Fountain is Red, The Fountain is White, which was my favorite song from this period. Uh, I could not believe it was a B-side, but it was more of a melodic song than than the rest of the album. Now, the rest of the album is melodic. You know, they are playing within rock's, uh, I guess you could say, formula, but, uh, but it is also very different. Definitely a wonderful album, but I wouldn't call this a great gateway uh, to their career. The Gateway came at the end of 1979 with that first album that I heard called Gypsy Blood. And this album is immense in, in so many emotional ways. You know, it starts off with a song called Teenage Lightning, which just sounds like just a celebration of, of the love of rock and roll. But then it's got songs like uh, Strip Show, uh, Human Face, Endgame, these songs that were so powerful and emotional and, and, and touching and moving. Now the band had dialed down on, on sort of the audio intensity and that intensity came more in the emotion in the songs. Jackie Levin has this voice where he could just sail into falsetto and it floats above you as, as you're listening to it. It's absolutely wonderful. This is the CD that contains a bonus track there at the bottom. But so many great songs on this. Is it New Wave? No, it, they're still very much their own thing. But they're sort of playing the game a little bit here. More melodic, you know, more hook-filled. And 
it's absolutely a, a truly astonishing album. It's an emotional album. It's everything that you want from rock and roll and so much more. Now, by the time of Gypsy Blood, uh, the original bass player had left and he'd been replaced by a gentleman by the name of Tony Waite. It's still a wonderful, wonderful album. Now, the next album didn't come out for another two years, but Doll by Doll, the self-titled album, came out in 1981. It's really a, another wonderful collection. It's more pop. It's not as emotionally intense as Gypsy Blood or orally intense as Remember, but there's still lots of great songs on this. It wasn't big, beefy, bold production. I believe that they had worked uh, in their own studio and it has sort of a more of a, a, a DIY sound to it or D DIY feel to it. But man, the songs like Main Traveled Roads, Figure It Out, oh. Hello, I'm just amazing. This is probably the most melodic of the three albums so far, and it is a great gateway album. In fact, this was released, I believe, in the U.S. on MCA Records. So this might be really easy to find on vinyl here in the U.S., but Doll by Doll, self-titled, wonderful album, great songs, great melodies, great hooks, great performances. Like I said, it's not as big and beefy and bold as uh, Gypsy Blood, but it's still very much worth your while. Unfortunately, the band sort of splintered after that, and they did return for one more album uh, called Grand Passion. This is the fourth and final Doll by Doll album, but the only member left in the band is Jackie Levin. And this time, the other band member is a keyboardist singer by the name of Helen Turner. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but that might be the same Helen Turner that was in Style Council, you know, a handful of years later. Uh, but this is an album, it's not quite as good as everything that came before. And it is a little bit more dated sounding because, you know, there's more, uh, you know, process drums and keyboards and, you know, all the things that would make up an album in 1982. But it's still wonderful because nobody writes songs or sings them like Jackie Levin. Really incredible artist. This is the only one of the four CD reissues that doesn't have a bonus track, but uh, I don't believe that there was any B-sides or anything out at this time. Uh, but it is still a, a, a wonderful pop album. For being the last Doll by Doll album, uh, you know, you, you'd you want them to go out on a high. This wasn't quite a high, uh, but still, it's a wonderful, wonderful album. I mean, if you want to hear them more of a pop, maybe slightly more commercial vein, you might want to try Grand Passion, but like I said, the real gateway album to get into them is going to be Gypsy Blood, and then of course the self-titled album as well. But that was it with Doll by Doll. They only put out the four albums. There was a, a live album that was released uh, on the Haunted Valley Records label, you know, many years later, playing songs from the Remember album, but I don't own that. I usually don't own any live releases. And of course, that's a decision that I've regretted, uh, and I'll tell you that in the next video when we go over uh, Jackie Levin's solo career. Anyway, before I go, what I'd like to do is I'd like to play you a little medley of songs to introduce you to the sound of Doll by Doll if you are not familiar with them. Really, truly wonderful band uh, fronted by Jackie Levin. And give this a listen, and I'll see you on the other side. But if there's one thing I remember that I think you have forgotten, I was your sleeping partner on the night that you got shot.
Anyway, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this. This is actually part one of a two-part series uh, focusing on Jackie Levin. I hope that you liked what you heard by Doll by Doll, and I hope you tune in next time on CD Junkie. But until then, I thank you for your time. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.